at Locomatrix, we've been making location-based games, that is games that you can play outdoors using mobile phones and tablets for around 10 years. In that time, these games have been played by thousands of children, both in schools and as part of the English Heritage Awesome Archaeology Project. So we're standing here at Bramber Castle in West Sussex, what would have been one of the first castles that William the Conqueror built after the Norman invasion. But there's uh, the mound where the castle would have stood at one time. Further over there there's some uh, bits of wall and um, in this bit probably the most impressive bit which is a bit of the, uh, the gatehouse. So the visitor has very little to look at, uh, really just a few notice boards that we have like over here. But I believe there are better ways that one can look at heritage. For example, at Lewis Priory, rather like Bramber, there's very little to see. A few walls, some stones, but we do know where most of the buildings were. We were able to recreate using virtual reality with VR techniques what the brewery and bakehouse looked like, and as part of the game we were able to show them. We are planning to do something very similar at Bramber to what we had done at Lewis. Oh, you have a game, an um, archaeology game, where at the end of it, the children that were playing the game would see the castle at the top of the mound. But during a project that I was doing with Brighton University students, we came up with something I think is much better. Not create a game for the children, but actually get the children to create a game themselves. So how's that all going to work? We're going to provide the children with research pack, which will tell them something about the castle, the people that lived here, how it relates to the history of the time. And they are going to then supplement that with their own research. From that, they're going to create a story. And that story could be about one of the lords that lived here, or it could be about maybe one of the children uh, that would have been around at the time. From that, they're going to convert the story into a set of videos that they will film themselves. And at the same time, they will make their model over here of what the castle actually looked like. We then take all those resources and we will turn it into the game that we played at this site. At the start of the game, the first video is played. So you're seeing the first part of the story. And then you're given clues as to where to go to the next location. In reality, it'd be further than going over here, but I think you get the point. Then the second video is played. You get the next part of the story. This goes on until the whole story has been told going throughout the site. At the end of the game, the user gets to see up on the mount where the castle would have been. And this is using the children's model. Artifacts is a project that would run somewhere between a month and a turn, depending on how much time is put in. It's a cross-curricular activity that involves local history, geography, research using the internet, storytelling and filmmaking, and art and design for the model making. Above all, it's about creativity, it's about teamwork, and it's about communication.